everybody welcome back to my channel it's theoni with thrifty divas and we are here with a dollar tree haul today a long overdue dollar tree haul i've been driving it around for going on two weeks now and if you follow my dollar tree walkthroughs you will know <laughs> when i found the stuff like way too long anyway so we are going to begin. I have broken everything down into category for everyone once again. And I just want to start with two things um, that I ended up giving my son for Valentine's Day. So the first thing was I went ahead and bought every single one of the large animal Mylar balloons that they had for Valentine's Day. I could not believe the size of these things for a dollar. Absolutely amazing deal. So I got him every single animal they had, and I also got him this Avengers tote bag um, that I put as part of his present for Valentine's Day as well. So I just wanted to show you guys those two things um, that definitely didn't make it to this haul, but we are gonna jump right in with the rest of the stuff, and I'm going to start with food. Not too, too much, but um, but I did find some cool stuff last night. I'll tell you that. So, all right, let's start off with this. I got two loaves of whole wheat bread for 25 cents each. They were in a shopping cart on clearance, so I was like, 25 cents? So I grabbed two of those whole wheat sliced bread for 25 cents a loaf. Then I got some more of the Utz crab chips potato chips 2.875 ounce bag with chesapeake bay crab seasoning so this is a repurchase then i was very excited to find these back because these are one of my favorites this is the tgi friday's mozzarella sticks 4.375 ounce 25 percent more so i picked those up as well i was hoping they brought back the onion rings which are my all-time favorite but no such luck then I picked these up for my husband to grab on his way to work again after his break. These are Snyder's of Hanover pretzel rounds. They had butter and they had sea salt. These are three and a half ounce bags. They're perfect little balls. They're absolutely adorable. And I just got two of the butter. And then I saw these. I thought my husband and my son would enjoy these. So I grabbed this as well. This is the Utz Hullis Cheddar cheese puffin popcorn yeah and yeah but i know they'll like that regardless so that's a four ounce bag uh then i got these these are the european cookies the shortbread cookies in lemon and the reason why i got this is because my friend lisa over at lisa and will's halls was um over the summer, I think it was, or fall with the like lemon or lime, the mousses that uh, we bought. She was making them and then putting one of these on top. And a few months ago, I was looking for these everywhere, could not find them at all. So I was like, let me just have these in my stash for when I need them. These are good until November 30th of this year. So any time at all this year that I make something citrusy, I have these to go with that. All right. What else? All right. This is kind of boring, but there's a reason for this. So I picked up this five pack of Top Ramen. It happens to be shrimp, but it doesn't matter. Reason why I bought this was because if you saw my Aldi grocery haul, I got all of the, I got the steak and I got the faux broth to make faux. That's going to be one of our meals uh, coming up here soon. I need to work on a meal plan because I fell off and every night I find myself saying, oh, I have no plans for dinner. I didn't pull anything out. I can't stand it. So I really need to work on a meal plan again for, I'm gonna do like two weeks at a time, maybe, honestly. Um, but anyway, so I got this just for the noodles. They'll be fine. I'm not, I don't need to go get anything crazy from the Asian market or anything like that. I'm just going to use these noodles in the pho. The real star is going to be everything else in it. So that's what I got that for. And that much noodles for a dollar. Amazing. Okay. Then. So, well, let me start with one more repurchase. So I picked up more of these um, Concord blueberry muffins. 
uh, product of Canada. These are, these, they're great. They're great to just like have one out. My son grabs one, my husband grabs one, like when we're on the go or whatever. It's just, they're just really cool. They're really cool to have. So I, everybody seems to be enjoying them. So I picked up two more packs of those. Then, okay. So last night, I went to the Riverhead store last night, if anybody's local, and I found these. So these are nine ounce bags of Super Pretzel Soft Pretzel Bites. So I picked up a couple of these. These are amazing. Movie night with some nacho cheese, just like the movie theater, it's, it's gonna be awesome. So I was very happy to find this. Haven't seen anything like this there, at least in a super long time. They just have the like, you know, Bavarian style whole pretzels there quite often, but I have not seen that. So I picked up a couple bags of that. And then, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I was talking to myself in the refrigerator aisle. If anybody saw me, they probably thought I was crazy. It's fine. Full size, full size, seven and a half ounces, Philadelphia whipped cream cheese in mixed berry. Now I saw this and I was like, well, it must be expiring super duper soon if Dollar Tree has it. Well, no, June, June of this year. Shocking. So I picked up two of those. And I think the last couple of items are gonna be uh, two different beverages. So I just, I picked up just one of this for my husband for work. So this is an energy drink called Celsius Heat. It's carbonated jackfruit flavor, 16 fluid ounces, 300 milligrams of caffeine, uh 2000 milligrams of l citrulline it is kosher if anybody is interested and it has seven other essential vitamins in it as well uh it i could not find i was looking in the store i could not find the sugar on here anywhere i just couldn't but anyway i just got him one of those it got dented but uh because i don't know how he's gonna feel about jackfruit it might be delicious oh zero sugar duh if i would have found that Probably would have gotten a couple more. I'll pick up more. I saw them at another store. And then also for my husband to take to work, these Victor Allen iced lattes, chilled coffee drink in mocha, 15% more, 11 fluid ounces. These have 32 grams of sugar. Yeah. Leave that for my healthy husband. I will not be touching that. All right, and I think that is it on food and drink. So let's move on to the next category. I'm gonna move on to some of the smaller categories. The next category I'm going to do is going to be apparel and accessory type items. So the first item in that category is for me, and it is this two pack of women's five to nine no-show socks. We have a black pair with donuts on them. I absolutely fell in love with these as soon as I saw them hanging there. And the, the white frosting is a little soft and fuzzy. And the second pair that comes with that is this white multicolor striped pair. Then I picked up this hat for my mom. This is made by Anvil. So this is not a Greenbrier thing. Um, it has the little vent holes and that's what the adjustable back looks like with the metal. This is really nice. Probably should have gotten more. They had a whole bunch of different colors. I just got the black for my mom because my mom's always looking for something in the summer for the sun because she gets sunspots. So she's always trying to protect her face as much as possible. So I think this one is Super duper cute. So I'm giving that to her when she stops by. And then if you saw in my walkthrough, I said, be still my 80s heart because I could not believe what I was looking at. They had this two pack of scrunchies. It is distributed by Greenbrier. Look at these two. Oh my goodness. I would have been in my glory if I had these in the 80s or early 90s. I would have been as cool as my friends probably, but I had to get those. I just had to, for me, for now. Yeah, I'm not ashamed. I love them. 
Then when I picked up the Marvel tote bag for my son, this was right next to it. I've shown it in a walkthrough before this time. I went ahead and got it. It has the child on it and it says precious cargo and it's absolutely adorable. Gray sides and bottom, gray straps. Yeah, both sides. So that came home with me. And that's it for that category. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next category, which is like books, movies, music, entertainment, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. So just a few, just a few. I picked up these uh, Bendin books that they have. You know the ones. They're straight on one side, wavy on the other, like that. So the first one I picked up was Smurfs, The Lost Village. The next one, Batman, The King of Crazy. Superman, Fortress of Solitude. And Superman, Hero of Metropolis. Then I picked up the pop-up book, The Three Little Pigs. And I have very good reason for this. My son has uh, some toys, speaking toys, that I got him last time we went to Greece um, because I want Greek language stuff around him because he is bilingual and learning two languages since birth. And one of his toys, you push the button and it says um, the three little pigs in Greek. So he has always asked me to translate that for him his whole life. So I translate it, but he doesn't actually have anything of it in English. So now we can compare and see what the versions look like. So that's, I was very happy to find that. And then I found the Scarlet Dragon. This is distributed by Greenbrier. It just looked really cute. Good amount of words on there. So that's gonna be a great bedtime story. And I think he'll enjoy that. All right, then last book. I found this and I am gonna save it for my husband for Father's Day. It says, Sons, life's greatest pride, worry, and joy. $14.95 US for this little book. But it's just, it's just a bunch of like quotes and stuff. Let me read you a couple. My mother had a great deal of trouble with me, but I think she enjoyed it. That's a quote by Mark Twain. And there's a picture there. A boy can swim like a fish, run like a deer, climb like a squirrel, balk like a mule, bellow like a bull, eat like a pig, or act like a jackass according to <laughs> climatic conditions, author unknown. Why little boys should drive away, little sweet maidens from the play, or love to banter and fight so well, that's the thing I could never tell. And that's by James Hagg, a Scottish poet, novelist, and essayist. So I thought this is just a beautiful little thing to add to my husband's Father's Day gift. Okay. And the very last thing in books, movies, entertainment, etc. I was looking everywhere for this back in October or beforehand, and I never found it. I did look out and find some classical CDs and stuff, but I was very happy I found this. This is the two CD set of Sounds of Horror. Yes, so I'm uh, definitely gonna be saving this for Halloween, putting it on a CD player and blasting it all loud and stuff for trick-or-treaters. I was very, very excited when I found that. Better late than never, it's cool. All right, so that's the end of that category and I think the next category I'm going to move on to is holiday. When I say holiday, I mean all of them. <laughs> Easter, and we're even going back to Valentine's Day because I did purchase uh, something that I forgot I purchased. And uh, Valentine's Day has come and gone, and so has my Valentine's Day decorations and bin. It has been moved back into the garage. So that sucks. I was just going through all my stuff. I was like, oh, I totally forgot. It's fine. All right, so let's start with Valentine's Day, I guess, since it's already passed, right? 
So if you saw my walkthrough about three days before Valentine's Day, I finally found these at a store. So these are the tea towels. I got the You Are Possum with the dog and the cat printed on both sides. And there are also little paw prints in case you missed that. So I got that and then I got uh, two. I'm saving one of these for my Valentine's Day giveaway next year. I got two of the Will You Be My Know Me tea towels printed on both sides. So one is gonna stay for me, one is going to be saved for you guys. And the third and final one that I found is this gorgeous bicycle with flowers in the basket and heart balloons. So those were the three and I picked all three of those up. So that ends Valentine's Day. Then I was so happy when I found these and I showed them in a walkthrough what seems like ages ago. And I was even more excited to find them because I never found the um, Christmas ones when they first came out with them. So Patty sent me one from Patty's Chance Holes and More and then Melissa from M&M's Holes and More. Please go check both those channels out if you haven't already. Tell them Theoni sent you. Um, they ended up sending me the Christmas ones because I never saw a single one. Oh well. So I was very shocked and happy to find these. We have the little bunny in carrot cupcake scent and the little chicky in sunshine floral. Even if they stink, I don't care. I think the dispenser for a dollar is worth it. So you could dump them out and change it. And they're frozen because they've been in my car for 10 days. Yeah. That smells fine. That smells good to me. Let's see what the carrot cupcake smells like. Somebody wrote in my comments that they're gross. I don't think so. I think they're fine. This just smells a little bit like vanilla. Not, I don't, like, not getting any carrot or cupcake in there. Nope. Well, cupcake, I guess, if it's a vanilla cupcake. But yeah, those are cute. Okay. Um, and they're both 10 ounces. All right, what else we got? Then I picked up one of these ceramic eggs with an A on it for my son. Beautiful. Uh, okay, and also for my son, this was in the Easter candy section. I showed these in a walkthrough as well. They had uh, different colors of the same dinosaurs. They get five options all together um, between color and dinosaur. So these have Smarties inside, but I just, there's an egg and I can always reuse this because it's a standard egg, but it's a cute little dinosaur sleeve. So even if I wanted to redo this whole thing, I can. So it just stretches and you can pop the egg out of there. So I got the orange Triceratops. Did I show you what the tag looks like? Orange Triceratops, purple Stegosaurus, and mint green T-Rex. Those are gonna go in his Easter basket. I'm not buying too much of Easter. First of all, because of Ivy, if you saw my Blessings by Mail, the last one from Ivy, I will never have to buy any Easter decorations for as long as I live, and I thank you for that, Ivy. Um, but in terms of Easter basket stuff or candy or anything like that. I'm not really getting too much because I said this last year too. So my Easter is super late this year, way later than even usual. So uh, regular Easter is April 4th this year, but Greek Orthodox Easter or Orthodox Easter is May 2nd. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to use my benefits as an Orthodox Christian and get all my stuff on clearance. So that's what I'm going to do. So I never buy too much Easter stuff, just things that I really don't want to risk or go without. And these were one of them. So I got that. And this was on my wish list. So I didn't want to, I feel like it's going to fly. So I didn't want to risk it. So I just picked up one of these. I absolutely love this little tin. Country Rabbit Candy Company, Farm Fresh, Flower Market, Carrot Patch, Fresh Eggs. Oh my, it's, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. They really upped, upped their game on this. 
And the last thing I'm gonna do in holiday is going to be some yard stakes, which is going to transition us into lawn and garden, because I love the way that that works. So I got a couple of holiday yard stakes. The first ones are these two little metal bunnies. So one has the little baby bunny in front of it, and the other one has a basket full of eggs. And they're on these sticks. So I got those, and then I found these gorgeous things. These sticks are much shorter, by the way. I don't know if I can compare it for you. Can you see that? Hold on. If we match up end and end, that's the difference right there. Yeah, end of design to end of design. So, big difference. Just wanted to let you know, in case you wanted to stick them next to each other, you can visualize what it would look like. But these are absolutely beautiful. These metal spiral carrots. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I just got two of those. I was excited to see that. I wasn't expecting that. All right, and that's it. And that's gonna transition us into lawn and garden from holiday. So perfect, okay. The first item in lawn and garden is from the new fairy garden stuff. So they had this little welcome sign with the carrots and I just got that for either my Easter shelf or a tiered tray or something for around Easter. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I got just one of those. Then I got one garden flag. I'm waiting for a couple others that I saw that I like, but I got this one with the bicycle that says welcome. It's very pretty. So I got just that. Then I picked up two. Now I have these, but I wanted... I wanted more. The other ones I actually wanted to save for their intended purpose, kind of. I don't know. Let me stop. Anyway, I picked up two packs of these, two packs of these giant S-hooks from the uh, floral garden or the garden collection. So I want to try to hang my like double XL storage bags from Dollar Tree that I have wreaths in. I want to try to work something out in my garage, maybe with like a tension rod and hanging the bags on this, something, I don't know. But I just got these to give that a try. Then, they only had pink left, which I'm okay with, but I, I can't believe I actually found these ceramic gnomes. And I bought two in the pink. I would have liked to find the green one for St. Patrick's Day, but I am, I am hopeful that uh, I will find them at another store. So we shall see, but if not, I got pink. I'm cool with that though, I am. I don't know why only pink was left. Hmm, I think pink is cute. All right, and the last couple things, so I'm working on something here. So I picked up this just little cardboard bucket with the lemons on it, blue with the lemons. And I got these garden gloves that are also blue with the lemon. And I wanna try to work out some mini little gardening thing. Nothing big though, cause my mom doesn't really like it. <laughs> um, not the, you know, not the Dollar Tree stuff, but maybe a bag of bulbs like from Home Depot or Garden Depot or something like that, something, I don't know. But I just thought that was really cute. The fact that they kind of match and yeah. So that's what I'm starting there. And that's it. That's it for lawn and garden. So let's move on to our next category. The next category I'm going to jump into is toys, which is mostly Hot Wheels. <laughs> All right, so let me show you. So I got three of the Street Beasts collection. This is Night Dragon. This one is T-Rex Troyer. 
And this one is Velociracer. So I'm probably gonna save that for my son's Easter basket as well. And then I found this, I thought this was cool. This is, uh, it's called Mad Props. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an airplane. So I thought that was cool. And then I got this Mighty Max Garage, old pickup. And I actually got this, um, this little 32 Ford Uno car for Melissa, at, Melissa over at M&M Souls and More, but she got it. So <laughs> I'm going to probably just hang it downstairs. I don't know. We'll see. It's cool. It's super cool anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Oh, and then I saw my friend Sadie over at Sweet Sadie JTV. Go check her out if you haven't already. Please tell her Theoni sent you. I saw her show this and I was like, what? So I was beside myself when I saw it hanging there. I couldn't believe I got that lucky. But this is the Barbie Dream Camper. <laughs> what? I had to have that. I might put that in my candy land. I don't know. It matches. So we'll see. But I had to have that. And I found it. And the last thing in toys. Oh, no. Here it is. I thought I, I, thought I was going crazy. I did find a Batman car. I found this. This is the Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile. One out of five. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I don't know if that's going on the wall or to my son yet, but we shall see. And the last thing in toys. This ankle skipper. So warning, there will be flashing lights if you need to turn away or skip a few seconds. So this is distributed by Greenbrier and it lights up. So that's pretty cool. So that's gonna go and they had different colors. That is gonna go in my son's Easter basket as well. So that's it for toys. Let's move on to the next category. This is gonna be another mini category and this is just gonna be household stuff. Super, super small. So I found uh, the 25% more good and clean disinfectant wipes. I picked up two of these. And I was so happy that I found these because I've been loving them and it was not a normal item. So I lucked out and found it again at a different store from where I found them the first time. But I got four packs of these Consumers Natural Choice 9-inch Uncoated Paper Plates. It's a 40 count made in the USA. It's all recycled materials. They're really good plates. So I got four more of those. Then there was one left of this. So this must be a big hit. This is a Glade air freshener. It says new and it is in aqua waves. I did not smell it. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, that's good. That's why there was one left, man. Okay. <laughs> That's really nice, just letting you know. Okay, then finally, I was at a store that had these, so I got a little baby pink one for me and a little baby blue one for my son. If we ever go on a little picnic or something together, we could do a veggie sticks and ranch or hummus and little mini pitas or pretzels. These are adorbs, and they stack super, super well in case you were wondering, but they really do click in very nicely to each other because there's that lip here and it locks into this. Like it really doesn't move at all that much. So pretty, pretty nice. Uh, and in case you have not seen it as of yet, that's that. It's got a really nice rubber seal in there. That colored portion is a rubber seal. And then this top door is also tinted, the color of the thing. And that opens up for you for your dip, clicks in, and there's a little separator wall. So yeah, awesome. It took me forever to find these, by the way. Uh, that's it, that's household. So what are we moving on to next? Let's do 
health and beauty. And then craft is going to be the biggest category in this haul. So let's move on to health and beauty. Health and beauty. So first thing I picked up were these giant packs of Modest Basics Disposable Washcloths, alcohol-free, enriched with aloe, chamomile, and vitamin E. You get 24 large cloths. They're 12 inches by eight inches. I thought these would just be really cool to freshen up. Um, I don't know, after the beach, after the gym, like before you shower, just anything. So I thought that was really great and really awesome for a dollar. So I picked up two packs of those. Um, and then I actually got four of these uh, April, spa April bath and shower, these hand and nail gloves, um, because my husband has been complaining about, you know, with the cold weather and all the sanitizing and the washing and all that. Um, his hands are like starting to crack and be painful and stuff. So I was like, oh, we should do a hand mask together. And he's like, I would be totally down. So I picked up some for us to do as well as for those cracked hands. Now I picked some of this up for my mom because she's been getting um, itchy with the dryness and she was about to buy an $18 cream. I said, give me a second so you can try something. And she loved it. And I picked it up for my husband to give a try too. This is the diabetic foot cream, but it does not have to be for your feet, right? So it's just a really, really nice, it's fragrance free, really, really good moisturizer for dry and cracked skin. It's a skin protectant. So I got this for my husband to try just for his hands as well. Um, all right. And then we move on to some fun stuff. So I showed these in a walkthrough as well. This is the wet and wild 0.28 ounce but it's really big and you can see the color there this is the loose highlighting powder in hustle and glow so i got a couple of those and then also in wet and wild i picked up this liquid cat suit matte lipstick for myself i just got one this is in the color behind the bleachers but I think this is my color as well. Should we try it on? I don't know. Oh, yeah, this isn't as easy as I make it look because <laughs> it's all crooked now because it's not a mirror. Okay, but yeah, I like that. FYI, fun fact, my husband hates red lipstick, but I love it. So he's gotten used to it. Okay. So that's that. I just got one of those. And then uh, this is the last Wet n Wild. This is a shimmer liquid eyeshadow. Can you see that? It's like purple and it's got all this different. But you know what? I don't like the way it looks though. I'm afraid this is dried out. I was hesitant to buy it. I got one for my friend too. But let's see. Because I feel like. That's not a good sign when it looks like that with that air gap. Hopefully I'm wrong. Um, but this is in the color When Stars Align. It's absolutely breathtaking. So I hope it's not dried out. But I'm not feeling too confident. Oh. Uh, eh, oh. Chunk it, chunker. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, not not great. That's not a great thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Can you? Oh, I don't even think you're going to be able to see it because it's looking too dark. 
Oh, it is the most gorgeous shade of purple. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. And there's like a gold shimmer undertone. Okay, moving on. Um, I found a whole bunch of hard candy stuff. But actually, before I move on to the hard candy, so I actually saw uh, Sadie again at Sweet Sadie JTV show these for the first time, and I was hoping I would find them, and I did. So this is the Neutrogena stuff they are carrying for a dollar, which I cannot get over, but there are three pieces. So we have, I, I got a couple of each for gifts, but if you pair them all together, that is absolutely beautiful. So the first thing we have is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying 100% Hydro Gel Mask made in Korea. So we have that one. And then we have This is a Neutrogena Dermatologist Recommended Brand Deep Clean Purifying Peel Off Mask. And this one is a Hydro Boost Hydrating Overnight Gel Mask with Hyaluronic Acid in this little tub. I love it. So I got those. All right, now moving on to hard candy stuff. Okay. First thing I found oh, was this. This is... Bold and Soft Volume Plus Fan Effect Ginormous Biggest Fan Mascara Curl and Fan Brush. Uh, and it is in 1107 Blackest Carbon Black. So that is that. Then I found this. This is the Hard Candy Sensitive Skin Primer 1.6 Fluid Ounce. Dermatologist tested, non comedogenic, oil free, silicone free, sensitive skin primer, sheer envy, made in the USA. We love our animal friends and we don't test our products on them, it says. Okay, got that. And then I found this. Uh, this is 12 hour protection setting spray, Defend. Charcoal to detoxify, anti-blue light, anti-pollution, antioxidant, 12-hour protection and hydration. Spray well, uh, shake well, 2.2 fluid ounces. So that is pretty amazing. 12-hour protection setting spray with charcoal. And then I found the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Color Correcting Primer. And this is green. So it corrects redness. And I always need green. Right here. Uh, okay. And I'm getting all confused over here. I think this is the last item in Health and Beauty. And then we're going to move on to Giant Crafts. This, I don't know what this is, but it looks beautiful. I think it's just dark. But it's the packaging that got me. You see that iridescent packaging? I was like, ooh, if it was that color, but I did get something elf like that once, ooh, and I still have it, I love it. Okay, where the like eyeliner was actually like that. So these are Hard Candy, Soft Glide, Long Wear Eyeliner in 1273 Treasure Chest. I don't know if you can see it, it's shiny, so it's gonna be hard to pick up. Stroke of Gorgeous Long Wear Eyeliner Glitter. Let's see. So it is sparkly on the stick. What is this? What is this? This is weird. This is is this it almost looks like felt it's very weird very weird can this be sharpened i don't know i don't know about that 
anyway, okay, let's see. Oh. Oh no, get the match. Like literal match or lighter. This is like old school not working. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Oh, oh, look, it's a mushy nub now. What? What in the world? Oh no. That eyeshadow though. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, I don't know. Crafts. Before I get into uh, the real craft section, I'm just gonna show you a few random items. So I found this. I thought my mom would actually love these because my mom loves birds too and she's always looking for blank cards. So these are Hallmark Expressions. You get six in here with envelopes and they're just blank notes. And I think they're beautiful with the flowers and the birds and I think she'll love them. So I picked up one pack of those. And then they had these gorgeous straw packs there's uh 20 all together and these are in the party section so just really 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 pretty florals and polka dots i'm not crazy about the stripe but it's the most subdued i guess but the it's the florals that really got me and then while i was over there i saw these you get 20 of these too and you get two different types there's two different things going on in there, but I can't see the other one. But you get this little separate baggie of these things that you put on straws. See with the two holes? Yeah. Why didn't they have this stuff from a son's party? That's okay. But yeah, all right. So real crafty stuff now. So when organizing my stuff into category, I actually put the craft stuff in here because that's how big of a category it is. So uh, yeah, let's rock and roll. The first thing I found, I saw my friends Melissa and Michelle over at M&M's Holes and More haul this for the very first time and I freaked out and I was like, oh my goodness, hope I find it, that is crazy. And then I found it and I still couldn't believe it. Whoops, wrong bag. Anyway, these, these wall, wall vases by the floral garden yes so i will be hanging these around my house they are eight and a half inches by two inches deep like you know width thickness depth i don't this way so i got those to go with those To go with those, I got some uh, floral foam, floral foam, and some greenery. Now I know the the plain greenery goes super fast, so I got whatever I could find unfortunately didn't really have my choice but I did get two fern and like four of these it just says greenery bouquet some have like the yellow and some have the uh, white I don't or like, can you see the difference? There's a difference, but I got four of those. Oh, here's another fern. I got three fern. And then they only had one of these and it didn't even have a price on it, but I got that. And they only had one of these, which I really like these. I would have liked, they're like little baby palm leaves. I would have liked to have like all this, but they only had one. So I got that, but I'm gonna make some greenery stuff and put them on the wall. Then, uh, I never found these and my friend Patty over at Patty's Chance Walls and More had sent them to me and of course I just messed up and I got the wrong colors because that's what I do. 
but she had sent them to me the first time and uh, I still have them. But I definitely, and I have all the shirts, so I want to definitely do that. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna like wait for summer. I think I'm gonna do it with my son because it's snowing, you know? Anyway, I got the tie-dye, so I got fuchsia and turquoise and purple and red and another turquoise. I don't know how that happened and green. So we're gonna get to that soon. Then I got two washi tapes and I lost one just now. There we go, two washi tapes. I will take them out for you so you can see them better. But they're all sweet, it looks like. Chocolate bars, ice cream, donuts, cupcakes. We got that. And this one has a pink background and it looks like we got a gummy bear, a gumball machine, a peppermint candy, chocolate bar, other candies, lollipops, different gummy bears. So that looked really cute too. Then I got these like wood looking these all look like they're on like light wood but i got these nautical themed ones for myself and i this was on my wish list i actually saw um fa uh, fab five craft ursula go check her out tell her theoni sent you from thrifty divas fab five crafts why can't i speak today she was the first one i ever saw of all these and i was like oh my goodness they are gorgeous so these are just like the vehicles and motorcycles vespas and stuff amazing and they do look like they're wood i love these stickers so i was happy to find those again this was in riverhead i picked up a pack a six pack of round chalkboard tags again just for the organizations that i'm doing in my pantry and stuff with baskets I got the la three piece laser cut craft words. I got happy birthday. You only get three because I feel like I really want to like make, I want to make birthday cards. I think it would be super cool. Yeah. <clears throat> and speaking of birthday cards, I got I got two of these one for me to make a birthday card and the other one for my friend Patty because I got her all of the gold stickers but they didn't have this one when I first found them and now I saw it so yeah now they have it so that is the uh that's annoying it's got writing on the on the acetate so anyway that's the gold happy birthday to you set so that's really cool. There's like five other ones in that gold, but they were missing that one. So I got one for her to complete her set. Her bag's down there. Um, and then I got one for me to make a card because I love it. And I got these because I love these. These are the keys, the laser cut keys. You get two of each one. And then the clocks, again, two of each one. These are absolutely gorgeous, breathtakingly gorgeous. Oh man. So I definitely wanna make something with that. And then I got the three packs of 12 by 12 cardstock. Now they, I showed the various ones in a walkthrough. So this one is pastels. So you get a lavender, uh, a mint green and a pink in there. Okay, and then I got the metallics. Card stuff, and then of course, the black pack. Yeah. And I just wanna see, yes, what the black looks like on there with the gold. Yeah, okay. 
so yes that's that and then i just got a one of these wooden trucks because they're really beautiful um but i do have a bunch of the raw christmas ones um they are a little different though these are much nicer but you can just like pop the christmas tree off and do whatever you want i have done a I did a pumpkin one. I did a St. Patrick's Day one. So those are all like back in my little quick craft stuff. Um, but So that's why I only got one. But these are definitely much nicer than the ones that had anything out of the back, I think. So I just got one. And I got a few of these because I am definitely sharing these with my crafty friends. Or craftier friends, <laughs> that's for sure these these little metal mason jars so i'm definitely sharing these with my cricket friends so i'm sending a couple to each gina you're getting two too so if you uh if you find them just know okay then this is the first time i've ever seen these in person i've seen people hold them that's the wood carving set the four piece wood carving set now if you've been following me since the very beginning you may have heard me say that i bought a engraver <laughs> that i have yet to use but i really 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 want to use it i want to engrave things i want to engrave wood i want to do all that stuff so i don't know but I'm gonna I'm gonna engrave stuff and carve things. Okay, moving on. The very last item, I believe, right? Yes. In this monstrous gargantuan haul, one more time, are some clear stamps. And I got this one because I thought this was just wow with the birds. I showed them all in the walkthrough, all the different sets. You have have a nice day, beautiful, enjoy life. And then all the, you get birds and flowers. And then I got this one. I actually got one for my friend Patty too, because they have uh, the butterflies, but she get a dragonfly, other flowers, rose, butterflies, um, a ladybug, a bee, two different butterflies and uh then it says enjoy the little things and amazing so so pretty and i actually just got let me show you i got um these acrylic uh stamp blocks from amazon i got like a 13 piece set or something crazy but all different sizes this one has the grid lines too and then I got these. So, to go with my clear stamps. I'm very excited. But I definitely want to make cards. Yeah. Not like many, but when I have enough time in advance, I would love to be able to make special cards for my closest friends and family. So, anyway. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please do so and become a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. There's still an astronomical percentage of people who watch that are not subscribers. It's like dang near 60%. So you cut that out. You go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then you could be listed under a different analytic when I look at my analytics. It'll be awesome. So, uh... Depending on how long this video is, I need to check because I have no idea, but I do have six minutes of bonus footage. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so we're at 54 minutes. We might as well just add on the six minutes and make it a full hour. So I'm going to tack on that additional footage before it becomes completely irrelevant because I waited too long. So enjoy that and I'll see you in the next video. I'm seeing only one new food item, and that's this Duchess mackerel and tomato sauce, a seven ounce can. And I'm seeing this interesting Easter grass. It's in a flat pack, and it looks like that. So you lift it up, shake it out, add to packaging, done. And it comes in the green, and we also have this baby pink down here, as well as a bright yellow I'm seeing. 
And these new gorgeous luggage tags with pom-pom attached. There's a flamingo. This is what the back looks like. And there is also a watermelon slice luggage tag with a green pom-pom. And I'm seeing these rainbow signs. So one says little one. And then they also have sweet dreams with the pastel colors on both of them. And I am seeing these signs. All I see, though, is bless this nest. And this is us. And uh, as much as I dig, those are the only two I can find. I'm sure there are more, but just not here. And I'm seeing these gorgeous ceramic banks. These are all banks and I see a unicorn, an astronaut, and this really pretty elephant with the mosaic type pattern on it. In some of the new fairy garden stuff, I'm seeing this little yellow flower house, this apple house, this pink little teapot house, the carrot welcome sign, I'm really loving this little white bench here. A whole bunch of fairies and gnomes. There's a little boot house, you see that? And oh, look at the little garden tools against the fence. And we have a little water mill. And there is also a cactus house that goes with this. And in the accessories to this set, we have some pretty cool stuff as well there's a dog and a basket and a little campfire and there's some little gnomes fairies and then we have little like vegetable garden stuff that is adorable and in other houseware stuff i'm seeing these hangers with one hook and we have a koala a panda a blue puppy, a fox, and of course the sloth. And back here, I also see a cloud. So we have the cloud with this as well. And yeah, that looks like all of them. Now, all right, we usually see these, right? These sachet packs, you get two, they're imported by Greenbrier, but something caught my eye and it was this one. It is a single one for a dollar. This is in vanilla and it is by Jode Puri Collections. It is not distributed by Greenbrier. So you get one for a dollar in there. And in the party section, a bunch of different choices on these 20 count adorable paper straws. And here's a unicorn one back there. This really bright multicolored one. They are really stepping up their game here. Here's some foil holographic ones with polka dots. And in Crafter Square, I see these cutting dies. So I'm trying to see the difference this is definitely a different one as well. And I think, I think I'm only seeing the two. Yeah, those are the only two I'm seeing here. I don't know if there was more or not that sold out, but that's that. That's definitely new to my store. And then they have these new hanging things. Look, this looks like a little picket fence. And then they have this square crate. The first one was rectangular. In health and beauty stuff, we have these new Jessie's Girl nail polishes. You can see that the bottles are shaped differently than they have been in the past. These are high intensity nail colors. Just showing you some of the different colors here that I can find. They have these really pretty pastel bath sponges on wooden handles. And in hair stuff, these really pretty scrunchies that have a pearl hanging down. There's a black, there's an ivory, a blue tones, and this mustard up here, all with that pretty pearl. Then they have this by Sassy and Chic. Look at this little manicure kit. You get little emery boards, a nail brush, and a nail cutter. So they have the fox and they have the purple with a unicorn 
And those are the only two I'm seeing in that. And then they have the little fox bath sponge and the unicorn bath sponge and two different eye masks to go with that. The silver holographic-y glitter and the purple. That's a really nice selection they put out. And they have the pastel Crayola tub paints for Easter. And I see these wet wipe antibacterial wipes. You get 20. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Haul and all. Hope you enjoyed. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.